the gate. And they're off. Pink Lloyd away just fairly, but got out with them. And going up is Richie's in the house in the center with Okrados off the track. Eskimins and is right there. And also Malibu Secret. And over on the inside, Extravagant Kid, Reconfigure, Pink Lloyd. And uh, Dixie's Gamble is last early as they settle down. Richie's in the house in front, being pressed by Okrados, Eskimins and up the rails. Extravagant Kid pacing along well. Reconfigure's right there in the center. And over on the outside, Malibu Secret from second last. Dixie's Gamble, Pink Lloyd will have to come from absolute last. Last. Only five lengths covers the field, however, and Pink Lloyd dropped two behind. Out in front, Richie's in the house with Okrados. On the outside, Eskimins and a perfect trip, extravagant kid and reconfigure. Pink Lloyd takes aim now. Goes around the outside from last, is gathering momentum. Goes up to share third and fourth as they corner in the Kennedy Road. Okrados joins Richie in the house and on the inside, coming through extravagant kid, Pink Lloyd and reconfigure. Pink Lloyd has got them on the outside. Pink Lloyd back in action in front, extravagant get on the inside, and then Dixie's gamble. How good is Pink Lloyd? He's the best. Pink Lloyd has won the Kennedy Road Stakes by a length. Second extravagant kid flying home was Malibu Secret with Dixie's gamble on the show photo, and then reconfigure, and the time, 1.872. from Gladiator Queen and bred by John Kerry, the winning jockey, Eureka Rosa da Silva. It is official. Just when you think this amazing horse can't add another chapter to his already amazing story, he does it, and he does so in style. The last time that you'll have an opportunity to ride him, that's got to be bittersweet. Eureka Rosa da Silva and another great train job done by Bob Tiller. This is probably not the way you drew it up. Uh, the start was really not ideal, but yet good horses can overcome anything. Uh, you know what, first, um, <clears throat> I, w I want to thank you, this horse uh, for all the good feelings he gave me. Um, yesterday was not easy for me, and uh, today was a tough time because I know it's my last time riding him. All I can say is, I never have so much great feeling from a horse like I did with him. And you see today, uh, you know, was, was so much trouble in front of me. I just took him back and I say, boy, we need to go outside. I went probably six wide in the turn. Uh, you know, it's only one horse can do it. His name is Pink Lloyd. So you're not going to come out of retirement and ride him back next season? Because this guy's phone's going to be ringing off the hook, I think. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, being amazing work with these men. And, you know, I, I have the opportunity to work with the top trainers here. And this man here is one of them. And I learned so much with him. And I want to, he knows that I love him to, so much. And, you know, and this man is a family for me. And uh, all I can say, thank you so much for everything. All righty. Thank you. Good luck to everybody <laughs> as we bring in the coach. I don't know where to start with this guy. I mean, just when you think he doesn't have another chapter, he does. Just take us through what went through your mind to skip the overskate and come into this race. We got 20 minutes. <laughs> uh, you know what? Uh, this, this all boils down to teamwork. Uh, Robert the Exercise Rider, Michelle Legroom, uh, Eureka Rosa da Silva, the barn, Tommy Lotus, my assistant trainer, and uh, Bob Tiller did a hell of a job. <laughs> and and I'll tell you the truth, uh, there'll never be another one like this horse. And my owners have been terrific. Um, they were willing to wait. I felt after his last race he needed a rest. He got it, and we had a couple interruptions in between. They were uh, very hard on my uh, gray hair. It made it even grayer. <laughs> but you know what, this is, uh, I believe, uh, 19 stakes out of 23 wins. So, pretty amazing, and it seems like it ain't over yet. We'll see you back here next season, and I imagine your phone will be ring with Chalky's one to ride him. <laughs> you know, yeah, I'm sure that somebody will, I'll get somebody with a little <laughs> stick to ride him. I don't know who it will be, but uh, I don't know. Life's funny. Uh, you never know. You would, Maybe uh, Eureka will be back by June. I don't know. I've seen these things before. I better, I better, better keep quiet. Great training job, my friend. Enjoy this victory. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm re we're really blessed to have him. Thank you very much. Pink Lloyd, the champ, does it again. <laughs>